Hello, this is Evan Dermelna here from Latinum. Uh, that's, this is the Latinum YouTube channel, of course. And I have Latinum at Patreon, a Latin language audio course, which I've been constructing since 2006. Anyway, this video is to talk about a new audio book, which I've just finished producing. And this is a Hamiltonian uh, book which is a particular type of text that was uh, produced in the 19th century, mainly. and the 20th century, these fell out of fashion, stopped being published. A Hamiltonian um, textbook is a textbook that takes the Latin and then moves the order of the Latin around slightly so that you can have a Latin and English um, parallel translation. Now, the particular thing about Hamilton's translation is that the translation itself still requires you to do some work. It's a literal translation, and the goal is to impart grammatical information and lexical, that is, uh, translation type information. And the translation given is usually the, the base translation, so not a, an idiomatic translation. So when you are listening to a Hamiltonian text, you still have to think quite hard. The work hasn't all been done for you. And uh, he helps you get to grips with the Latin. And so once you've gone through a Hamiltonian text, then you can read the original. Now, this was a very popular way of teaching. Um, the, the system itself was developed um, as a theoretical system by the philosopher John Locke, who promoted it. Um, and then a few publishers uh, took this and found authors who would write these texts, and a number of them were written. So the one that's just been published is the Gospel of St. John in English and Latin. And the way I produce this is as follows. I read a phrase in Latin, and then I read the corresponding translation of that phrase, and then I return and read the phrase in Latin again. And so we progress through the entire text. I read slowly, carefully, being very precise in my pronunciation, not reading too quickly, because these texts, of course, are meant for beginners. Although an intermediate or an upper level student would benefit from listening to a Hamiltonian text. There's a lot of material there. Um, and of course, if you are not familiar with this type of text, um, and many people nowadays are unfamiliar with biblical texts in general, um, just think of it, even if you're not a Christian, you think, well, why would I want to read the Gospels? Well, it is part of the, the basis of what we call uh, Judeo-Christian civilization, the bedrock ideas that underlie much of the uh, culture of the, the Western world. And even if you're not a Christian, whether you're an atheist or a pagan or a Jew or a Buddhist or no, you know, whatever you are, it's still worthwhile studying a text like this, not being intimidated by it because it is a religious text. And of course, if you're a Christian, then you will approach it in a different way, whether you're a Catholic or a Protestant um, or some other kind of Christian. You will approach the text through your uh, worldview. But if you're not a, a Christian, then we will use the text purely as uh, an educational tool to advance our knowledge of Latin and also to give you knowledge of, of Christianity. Even if you're not a Christian, I think it's important to know what's in the Christian texts and to have read them and be acquainted with them. And this Hamiltonian text is an easy way to access the work of um, the Gospel of St. John while you're also building and improving your Latin. So where do you find this? The audiobook has been published at Latinum. So if you go to latinum.org.uk or click one of the links that should be under this video, I presume, 
um, you'll find the link and you'll find that all of our audio audiobooks are hosted at Patreon behind a paywall and there are two ways of accessing. You can either subscribe at a lower level and access the material incrementally bit by bit, stream and um, or you can subscribe at a higher level and download as a zip file where all of the um, files are easily accessible. You can put in, be put in a folder on your phone or on your computer and listen to offline um, in a much more uh, convenient manner. Um, and there are other um, patronage levels available if you want to uh, subscribe to Latinum and assist the project. Um, that's all really uh, from me and uh, it's nice to talk to you. I hope you, if you do access the, the Gospel of St. John in English and Latin, I hope you enjoy it and that's all from me for today. Bye.